Welcome back guys, this is always back with another video and uh, I'm going to be answering a question and actually I'm going to show you the solution of one problem which is causing a lot of people a stress. A lot of people have asked me one question which is basically when they start building a house project, a two story house project in Revit, what they have to do, they have to create a ground floor and a first floor. So now once they create the ground floor, they go to the first floor and the problem they face is they're not able to see the object which is created on the ground floor. So that means you can't draw on the top of your ground floor. That's a bit of a, not a bit of problem. It's a very, very uh, crazy kind of thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to fix that view. So right now we have three floors here, ground floor, first floor, foundation. And side. So let's go to the ground floor and here we can see we are able to select the object on the ground floor and I can modify them, right? But if I go to first floor, I have the ground floor object here, but I'm not able to select it and I can't modify that anymore because I'm not on the ground floor. So I can actually snap to this. So if I select the wall and I will just want to snap from here. So I will just keep drawing on the top of the wall I have on the ground floor, which is cool, right? But the problem people face, they're not able to see the ground floor object. And the solution is very simple. You just have to look at the properties. Now, if I go to the properties of the first floor, we have an option for underlay, which is set to ground floor. So if I select this and click on none and apply that, now you can see that we are not able to see the object on the ground floor, which is kind of kind of a problem because if I zoom out, zoom in, I'm not sure where and where on the workspace I'm drawing my first floor. So that's a huge problem. So you gotta do is, all you have to do is just go to the properties of your current floor and select underlay and select the floor you wanna show. So if I wanna show foundation, so I can select the foundation and apply. And now this is I have on the foundation. So foundation only have the, the slab of the ground. So that's what we have. We're, we're only able to see that. So what I'm going to do is we're going to change this to ground floor, apply that, and there you go. So you're not able to select it, you're not able to modify the ground floor, but you're able to see it and you are able to snap to this. So you can start building your first floor on the top of this. So that was a quick video to show you guys, and I hope I solved the problem. If there is any question regarding Revit, anything, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to respond to you guys by making a quick video. And uh, just one more thing I want to uh, tell you guys that I'm creating a new course on Revit which are going to be about families. Not the course I've already created but without with the family. So so basically wall is a family, door is a family, window is a family. So these are our built-in families in Revit. But how do we create our own custom families? That's what I'm going to teach you in the course. So I'll drop a link of that course once it's ready in any video but i want you to go and check out my udemy udemy uh dashboard which i have like three courses right now so have a look i've got an autocad course there i've got a revit course there if you want to learn revit from scratch so you can get that course all right guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video